بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از می آمنا صادق آئی ایم یو جنرل سائنس ٹیچر فار لیول ون ہفظ القرآن سیکشن اینڈ آئی بلانگ ٹو شاہ ماڈل اسکولس اینڈ آئی ہوپ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس یو آر یو آل آر فائن ایٹ یور ہومس اوکے ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیو کمپلیٹیڈ دا ریٹن ورک آف چیپٹر نمبر ون Now today we will start the new chapter that is chapter number 2 material and matter. So for that you have to open your books at page number 18. So first of all we will discuss the material. Dear students look around in your room you will observe different types of things. and these things are made up of different types of materials for example chair chair is made up of wood so chair is a thing and wood is its material look around there are many things around you all these things are made up of different materials like plastic glass metal wood etc they all look different feel different and have different colors so some things are hard while some are soft and smooth they are all different in shape and size they have different properties and uses as you can see in the pictures of different materials all of them are different in size and shape and they also have different properties and uses so in this chapter we will discuss different types of materials and their properties so for that the first one is hard things Now what are hard things? Things which cannot be pressed by hand easily are hard. Like chair, table, door. Wo cheeze jinko hum apne haath se easily press nahi kar sakte that are called hard things. For example, we cannot break the chair with our hand. why because chair is made up of wood and wood is hard material next is soft things things which can be easily pressed by hand are soft like eraser tire plasticine ab wo cheeze jinko hum apne haath se easily press kar sakte hain وہ سافٹ تھنگس ہوتی ہیں فار ایگزامپل اریزر وی یوز اریزر فار ڈوئنگ آر ورک اینڈ وی کین پریس دا اریزر ود آر ہینڈ ویری ایزیلی وی کین پریس وی کین آلسو پریس دا ٹائر ود آر ہینڈ ویری ایزیلی اینڈ پلاسٹک سین از موسٹلی یوزڈ فار پلیئنگ بائی چلڈرنس Okay next is smooth things things which are soft to touch or slippery fur fur like are smooth for example silk mirror and feather wo cheeze jo ke touch karne pe bahut hi slippery hoti hain soft hoti hain unko kya kehte hain smooth things kehte hain jaise ke silk سلک ایک کپڑا ہوتا ہے جو کہ بہت ہی اسموتھ اینڈ سلپ رہی ہوتا ہے اینڈ سے ہیں اینڈ اگر آپ ان کو بھی ٹچ کریں تو بہت ہی اسموتھ ہوتے ہیں اینڈ مرر از سلپ رہی سو دیٹس وائی دیز آر دا اسموتھ تھنگس ناؤ دا لاسٹ ون از رف تھنگس تھنگس وچ آر ناٹ اسموتھ ٹو ٹچ آر رف لائک جوڈ بیگ وڈ بارک اینڈ راک وہ چیزیں جو کہ کھردری ہوتی ہیں دے آر کالڈ رف تھنگس 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये जो एक जूट बैग है इसको हम बोरी कहते हैं इसको अगर आप टच करें तो ये बहुत ही खुरदरी होती है एंड द वुड बार्क इफ यू टच द वुड बार्क इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी रफ एंड द रॉक वॉल इज ऑल्सो वेरी रफ दैट्स वाई दीज आर द रफ थिंग्स सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर मेड अप ऑफ डिफरेंट मटीरियल्स ईज इज मेड अप ऑफ डिफरेंट मटीरियल्स Materials are of two types. Number one is natural. Natural means kudrati, and artificial, man-made, जो कि इंसानों की बनाई हुई चीजें होती हैं. So first we will discuss the natural material. They come from plant, paper, animal, shoes, sweater. from underground petroleum now paper is made up of wood and wood is a natural material which we get from the plants jaise ki aapko pata hai ki paper kis se banta hai wood se banta hai aur wood hum hasil karte hasil karte hain tree se to tree jo hai wo natural material hai Now different types of shoes and sweaters are made from animals skin and sweater is made up of animals wool and petrol we get it from the underground it is naturally present under the ground and we get the petrol from the underground with so these are the natural materials now we will come towards the man made materials man make these materials for example plastic glass toys etc as you can see that this chair is made up of plastic and plastic is made by man in the factories The glass is also made in factories by man with the help of different chemicals and glass. Toys are also man made. It is also made in the factories with the help of different chemicals or with the help of plastic etc. At the end I have a small homework for you that is read the chapter number 2 and try to learn the difficult terms from the chapter i hope you have understood all the topics which i have explained to you thank you so much